Hey guys and guys on YouTube, how y'all doing? Dave Boyd here with another video. I know that this has been covered on this channel or the other channel. I'm sure on this one. In fact, somebody's made a comment, so I'm sure it's on this one. But there's a reason because I uh, <clears throat> made a discovery at the gun shop about something that I never had an opportunity to have before. So oh, I've got a little crack in the handle here, but it's a while on that. Okay, first of all, all guns are always loaded, especially the holster, especially when they're so dusty. It's very dusty. Of course, it's easy to tell when a gun's loaded because, you know. So, let's go ahead and pop the cylinder. It's loaded. Let's see what it's loaded with. 71 cutters. Hard cast, 379 guns. Because this is a Ruger Security 6. Now we are unloaded. Now, this is my one of my old guns from early days and old probably probably testers paint from Hobbycraft. Adjustable sights. Um if you look the cylinder is very much well marked, a lot of blowing loss, etc. And if you look here you'll see that the cylinder's been lightly chamfered by me with a probably a a rat tail file probably a a chainsaw sharpener back in those days. And furthermore, I'd taken the whole gun apart and polished all the high wear parts. We'll have to do a video on that some about field stripping with these. But uh, it's a very smooth, very, very smooth. Now, we got a little history. We got another one here. And this one once uh, was uh, the property of Wilson's video out here on Connecticut Bay Road in near Wausau, Alaska. And this is not a Security 6, this is a Service 6. And this is the holster came with it. And I don't generally have it in this holster. I just, I realized I still have it. I said, hey, what do you think of that? And, ooh, a little sticky. Empty. And... This gun is nowhere, ooh, nowhere near smooth. Anyways, what you notice, and what I prefer just for my own aesthetics is this. Just a plain old groove rear sight, low, low pro front, your basic service six or security guard, law enforcement type at the, at the, of the day. It's got dual wield. And that's the purpose of the video, although, wow, you know, I can almost cut myself on this hammer. It is absolutely crisp. And there's something that kind of interesting about this one. If you look at the hammer, it's only blued halfway. And it's been, it was like that when I got it. This was $169 at a pawn shop called Legal Pawn 2, I believe. And it had some rust and stuff on it. And, you know, there it is. And this one, because it came from the gun shop, and I don't remember how much it was. Sadly, so I didn't write down or anything. Um, it's a very, very crisp, very tight little gun. And personally, I love the... I love the uh, the sights when they're set like that. Old oil stains and the works. Well, you know what? Do we have time to do a video? Let's see. A field strip? Maybe we do. How fast can I do a field strip? Let's find out. As we check or check, the gun is unloaded. Still continues to be unloaded. Let's see. Screwdriver. Remove the grip screw. I probably won't be able to reassemble it in the video time. Let's see. It's been a long time. Now, oh, look how dusty it is. Goodness gracious. Go ahead and pop it back and put a pin or something appropriate through here to prevent this uh, captive recoil spring from becoming uncaptive. When you do that, it will come loose. Okay. And of course, it slides back. Uh, go ahead and Push this pin out. Now 
just pulls out. And then this hammer, you drop back, will unplug and pull out. Now here, we're going to see parts that haven't been seen since I was a child. Yeah, you can still, you can tell how polished it is. Look at that, a little bit of wear there, but I polish the tips. Use a mom's nail file with toothpaste went down inside the frame, polish up. I got the idea from a guy who did an article on a Ruger Red Hawk through some magnum and stainless steel. Inside of here is a pin. Ruger says you can just use the your firing pin assembly, but I prefer to put an um, actual screwdriver. And there's a I'm going to regret this. I don't know, hope not. Um, here, I'll show you. Dang it. This is a plunger. Push this back. These have to line up inside. This is your, uh, your pole here. This, of course, turns your, your hand that turns your cylinder. We are field stripping, so there's no reason to take it apart any further than that. This is actually for cleaning. And then what you'll end up with is this. Now, go ahead and gently and keep your hand handy and you can go ahead and extract your cylinder and there's your cylinder. And uh, here's your pole here and your cylinder catch. Go ahead and let it drop out like so. And there's all the fill strip you need to do. There is actually a tiny screw here and you can actually remove this too. There's no reason to for a fill strip. And I'm going to probably use this opportunity to probably clean this gun, actually, because it probably hasn't been done in um, many years, probably decades, actually. Because I kind of, you know, you know how it is, you, you park a gun. Anyways, so I guess we'll end the video there. Anyways, just a little chatter and a little talk, and it got some got, got some stuff coming for the channel, um, the seekers, and also more stuff about guns, the fun stuff. Y'all take care. Until next time, appreciate you being in the community. Ciao.